Page 81. This is a scale. A scale is an instrument for measuring weight. Which man's weight is greater? They are on the scale. The weight of the thin man is 100 pounds. The weight of the fat man is 200 pounds. Clocks are instruments for measuring time. This is a watch. Watches and clocks are instruments for measuring time. This is an instrument for measuring heat. A yard measure is an instrument for measuring distance. Inches, feet, yards, meters, and miles are measures of distance. Page 82. All bodies have an attraction for one another. If the bodies are great, the attraction between them is great. If the bodies are small, the attraction is small. If the bodies go farther from one another, the attraction gets smaller. Here is a light. Here is a square. It sends out light in every direction. I put the square at different distances from the light. At distance one, it gets all the light which is going out between the lines. At distance two, it gets one fourth of the light. At distance five, it gets one twenty fifth. It is the same with the attraction between bodies. Page 83. What keeps the moon up in the sky? Why does not the moon come down? The moon is a great body. Its weight is great. The earth is a great body. Its weight is 81 times the weight of the moon. 2 times 3 is 6. The moon and the earth are not very far from one another. The distance between them is about 239,000 miles. Because they are great bodies and near one another, the attraction between the moon and the earth is very great. Why does the moon not come down to the earth? That is a question. Page 84. The answer is because it is going round the earth. This is a cord in my hand. The cord has a weight at its end. The weight is hanging down on the cord, which is in my hand. I make the weight go round on the cord. I keep the end of the cord in my hand. Now I let the end of the cord in my hand go. The weight goes off in a straight line. It takes the cord with it. Page 85. The pull of the cord in my hand kept the weight from going off in a straight line. The attraction between the earth and the moon keeps the moon from going off in a straight line. The moon goes round and round the earth, month after month. It does not get farther from the earth or nearer to the earth. It keeps about the same distance from the earth. Page 86. Here is Sir Isaac Newton, the great man of science. Newton had a great mind. He is under an apple tree. It is the year 1666. Those are apples which are over his head. The seat has three legs. Here is an apple which was over his head. The apple was on a branch of the tree. The apple came off the branch. It came down. It came down on Newton's head. Page 87. That is the story. The story may be true or it may not be true. But that is the story. It comes from the great writer Voltaire. True? Two plus two equals four. That is true. Two plus two equals five. That is not true. It is a false statement. Apples are fruit. That statement is true. Apples are animals. That statement is false. In this story, the fall of the apple on Newton's head was the cause of the idea. The blow which the apple gave to Newton's head gave an idea to Newton. It made a question come into Newton's mind. This was the question Have the fall of the apple and the motion of the moon the same cause? Page 88. Here is a ball. It is hanging on a cord. I will give a blow to the ball with this stick. I gave the blow. Now the ball is in motion. What was the cause of the motion? 
The blow of the stick was the cause of the motion. The ball was not in motion before the blow. It was at rest. It was hanging on the end of the cord. The blow was the cause of the motion. After the blow, the ball was in motion. The motion came from the blow. The motion was the effect of the blow. Page 89. Which of the statements on this page are true and which are false? Put a T before the true statements and an F before the false. A. 1. The earth is in motion. True. 2. The earth is turning round. True. 3. The earth goes round the moon. False. B. 1. The moon is greater than the sun. False. 2. The sun is colder than the moon. False. 3. The moon goes round the earth. True. C. 1. The attraction between two bodies. Gets greater as they go farther from one another. False. 2. The attraction between two bodies is greater when they are nearer. True. 3. When two great bodies are near one another, the attraction between them is small. False. D. 1. When a blow puts a ball in motion, The blow is the cause of the motion. True. 2. When a blow puts a ball in motion, the motion is the effect of the blow. True. 3. When a body is in motion, it is at rest. False. Page 90. Questions Milk comes from a cow. Heat comes from the sun or a fire. Where do these things come from? A. Potatoes. Potatoes come from the roots of a plant. B. Cheese. Cheese comes from milk. C. Light. Light comes from the sun or flames. D. Letters. Letters come from persons. E. Flowers. Flowers come from plants or from seeds. F. Snow. Snow comes from the sky or clouds. G. Oranges. Oranges come from orange trees. H. Meat. Meat comes from animals. I. Eggs. Eggs come from birds. Which of these things have a face? A man, a dog, a bone, an icebox, a clock, a tree, a goat, a bird, an airplane, a river, a table. A man, a dog, a clock, a goat, a bird may have a face. Which of them have a mouth? A man, a dog, a goat, a bird, a river may have a mouth. Which of them have hands? A man and a clock may have hands. Which of them have a door? An icebox and an airplane may have a door. Page 91. Questions. A. We put a bottle on a shelf. Which of these things may we put on a shelf? A book, a mountain, a cup, a box, a star, a clock, a horse, a distance, a plate, a bus, a river, a house, a spoon, a garden. We may put A book, a cup, a box, a clock, a plate, a spoon on a shelf. B. We put potatoes in a pot. 
Which of these things may we put in a pot? Water, windows, food, streets, tables, milk, soup, trains, salt, colors, eggs, wood, ideas. We may put water, food, milk, soup, salt, eggs in a pot. C. We put money in our pockets. Which of these things may we put in our pockets? Pipes, education, letters, pencils, offices, islands, maps, hands, governments, buttons, watches, distance, balls, roofs, knives. We may put pipes, letters, Pencils, maps, hands, buttons, watches, balls, knives in our pockets. D. We put our hats on. Which of these things may we put on? Feet, boots, seats, gloves, shirts, walls, directions, coats, buildings. Soap, scissors, collars, locks, socks, trousers, branches, trays, shoes, apples. We may put boots, gloves, shirts, coats, collars, socks, trousers, shoes on. Page 93. What is this? The man has an umbrella in his hand. It is open. He has it over his head. Why? Because it is raining. Water is coming down from the sky. The water is rain. Rain is coming down. Rain is falling. It is raining. The rain made the man put up his umbrella. That was the effect of the rain. Today is Monday. Yesterday the sun was bright. There were no clouds in the sky. Today there are dark clouds in the sky. They come between us and the sun. The dark clouds keep the light of the sun from us. Page 94. The rain comes down from the clouds on me. It comes down on my head. The rain comes down from the clouds on us. It comes down on our heads. Why is it raining today? Yesterday the weather was good. The sun was bright. The air was warm. Today the weather is bad. The rain is coming down. The wind is blowing. It is cold and the rain makes us wet. Page 95. Tomorrow the weather may be worse. It may be very cold. All the water may be ice. Snow may be coming down, making everything white. Will tomorrow be like this? Is this winter or summer? Or tomorrow the weather may be better. The sun may be bright again. The air may be warm again and the streets may be dry again. Will tomorrow be like this? Page 96. What are the causes of these changes in the weather? Change? What is that? Here is a line. Here is a change in the direction of the line. This bird was wet. It was in the rain. Now it is dry. That is a change. It was wet. It is dry. What is the cause of these changes in the weather? Why are there these changes of weather? There is not one cause only. There are numbers of causes. Changes in the heat which comes to us from the sun are one cause of changes of weather. Page 97. The amount of heat which the earth gets from the sun is different from time to time. There are changes in the sun. If you take a look at the sun through a bit of dark glass, you may see small marks on the face of the sun. Amount? One dollar is a small amount of money. A million dollars is a great amount of money. A drop of rain is a very small amount of water. 
There is a small amount of water in this glass. There is a great amount of water in the sea. This is the sea. Those are ships which are on the sea. Page 98. Changes in the heat which comes to the earth from the sun are one cause of changes in the weather. This discovery is new. A man of science made the discovery in 1944. He made it by measuring the heat which comes to the earth every day from the sun. The amount of heat is different from day to day. On some days, the sun sends more heat to the earth. On other days, it sends less heat to the earth. There is more water in this glass than in that. We are making new discoveries every day. Columbus made the discovery of America in 1492. Columbus came to America in his ship in 1492. Page 99. What were some other great discoveries? One of them was fire. Fire is of very great use to us, it gives us heat. Another great discovery was the wheel. Wheels are round, they go round. A cart. They are of very great use to us. Another great discovery was clothing. What are these? These are some other sorts of clothing. The making of cloth was a great discovery. This is how we make cloth. These are threads. They go across from one side to the other of a frame. Page 100. These are other threads. They go across the first threads. They go under and over them. This is cloth. This is a roll of cloth. We make clothing of cloth. We make cloth of threads. We make threads from wool and cotton and silk. We get wool from sheep. Wool is the thick, warm hair of sheep. We take the wool off the sheep's back with scissors. Page 101. We make threads from the wool by twisting the hairs round and round. That wheel is going round, it is giving a twist to the thread. It is twisting the thread. We get cotton from the cotton plant. Cotton is a soft white hair round the seeds of the plant. These are different sorts of seeds. Plants come up from seeds which come from other plants of the same sort. We get silk from the silkworm. This worm makes a soft, strong thread of silk and puts it round itself like a coat. Page 102. Wool, cotton, and silk are different sorts of cloth. We make clothing of all these sorts of cloth. When the weather is cold, we put on thick, warm wool clothing. When the weather is warm, we put on thin cotton clothing. Cotton clothing is not as warm as wool clothing. Thick clothing keeps us warm, it keeps us warmer than thin clothing. Thick cloth keeps air in it, between the threads. The air does not let heat go through it. A thick roof keeps the heat of the house in. A thin roof lets the heat go through it. A thick roof keeps the heat of the sun out. Page 103. Here is a pencil. It is straight. It is not bent. Here is a glass of water. I put the pencil in the water. The pencil seems bent where it goes into the water. The pencil is straight, but it seems bent. It seems like this, but it is like this. It is straight, not bent. It seems bent, not straight. Page 104. Before I put the pencil in the water, it seemed straight. It was straight. After I put it in the water, it seemed bent. It wasn't bent. When it is in the water, it seems bent. When it is out of the water, we see that it is straight. Why did it seem bent when it was in the water? This is a light. A light sends out light. The light which it sends out goes in straight lines. Here is a bit of glass. A ray of light is going through the glass. Page 
where the light goes into the glass, it is bent. It is bent again where it comes out of the glass into the air. Here is your eye. You are looking at the pencil in the glass of water. The light from the pencil is bent where it comes out of the water into the air. It is bent here. The pencil is not bent, but the light from it is bent. Page 106. The light comes from here, but it seems to come from here. The part of the pencil which is under the water seems to be where it is not. Here is your eye. The light from the pencil is bent here. It comes out of the water here. The point of the pencil seems to be here. It is here. The light is bent where it comes out of the water. Page 107. This is a looking glass. What do you see in the looking glass? I see a girl's face in the glass. She is looking at herself in the glass. What does she see in the looking glass? She sees herself in the glass. She seems to be here. She is here. She is on this side of the glass. She seems to be on the other side of the glass. Why? Because the glass sends the light back. There seem to be two girls in this picture. There is only one. Page 108. What is this man doing? He is working with a spade. That is his work. What is this woman doing? She is working with her needle. That is her work. What is this man doing? He is making shoes. He is a shoemaker. That is his work. These are shoes. These are boots. He makes boots and shoes. That is his work. Page 109. What is this man doing? He is putting paint on the door. He is painting the door. He is a painter. That is his work. This is his paint. This is his brush. He puts the paint on with his paintbrush. This is addition. The boy is doing addition. That is his work. This is a bank. This is a check. Page 110. We keep money in banks. Banking is an important sort of business. Men and women in banks and business houses keep accounts. This is an account. Keeping accounts is an important part of business. Keeping accounts is one sort of work. These are account books. Farming is another sort of work. This is a farm. Page 111. This is a cart. This is a plow. The plow is turning up the earth. This is a field. The farmer is plowing the field. That is part of his work as a farmer. The farmer has an account with his bank. He puts his money in the bank. He keeps money in the bank. He gets money from the bank. The account says how much money he has in the bank. Farming and keeping accounts are two different sorts of work. Page 112. What sort of work is this man doing? He is cutting wood. What sort of work is this woman doing? She is washing stockings and dresses. What sort of work does this man do? He keeps a store. It is a fruit store. He is a storekeeper. What sort of work does this woman do? She keeps a house. It is her house. She is a housekeeper. Page 113. Put your fingers across one another like this. I have my first and second fingers across one another. Across? These two lines go across one another. My second finger is over and across my first finger. These are fingernails. Did you put your fingers across one another? That is right. You have your fingers across one another. Now, take a pencil and give a touch to one finger, and then a touch to the other, and then put the pencil between them. Do this with your eyes shut. 
Page 114. You will have a strange feeling. Are two pencils touching your fingers? Or is only one pencil touching them? Do you have the strange feeling that two pencils are there? When you are touching one finger only, you seem to be touching the other. Why is that? Here is the answer. When the two fingers are like this, or like this, they do their work together. But when they are across one another, they do not do their work together. Then a touch to one sometimes seems to be a touch to the other. Page 115. What is their work? What do the ends of our fingers do? Their chief work is touching. Those fingers are touching the cover of a book. Touching gives us knowledge. When our eyes are shut, or when we are looking in another direction, or when we are not able to see, we get knowledge through touching and feeling with our fingers. Page 116. The chief work of the ends of our fingers is touching. Here is a man who is not able to see. That is a braille book which he has before him. He is reading the book with the ends of his fingers. Braille letters and words are like this. He is touching them with the ends of his fingers. This other man is reading with his eyes. He is not reading with his fingers. What are those things on his nose? They are his glasses. Page 117. What is the work of the eyes? Seeing. Their work is seeing. What is the work of the ears? Hearing. Their work is hearing. What is the work of the legs? Walking. Walking is their chief work. What is the work of the mouth? Is talking or taking in food the chief work of the mouth? I say this. This is talk. What is the work of the hands? Taking things up, putting them down, getting things, giving things, making things. We do things with our hands.